In this video that is sponsored by Flux Lasers, I am going to use the Vimo laser that I showed in a previous video to cut 5mm plywood to make this lamp that looks like a garden lantern. See how nicely fit together the pieces of plywood that I have just cut with the Vimo laser. I put the 5mm plywood that I am going to cut on the work area inside the laser machine and I use Beam Studio to take a photo of the work area. I open the plans of the base of the lamp that are in DXF format and here important instead of 1 I am going to put 0.915. In my case, I need to reduce the size of the plants so that the grooves that I am going to cut with the laser in the pieces fit perfectly with the 5mm plywood that I have bought. I click dismantle the plants, I place them in the best position on the workpiece, I select to cut 5mm wood and I put the Vimo laser to work. If you want to know more about this amazing laser machine, you can follow the links in the description. To cut the 5mm plywood, the laser has to make two passes, so we won't watch the second pass. And here I have these two pieces that are part of the base of the lamp. I have to make another two, because I need two of each one. Now I do the same to cut the pieces that will make the top of the lamp. I also delete the number 1 and I put 0 0.915. The different plywood sheets that we can buy are not always exactly the same thickness. So it is important to do some tests with a few small pieces to get the perfect fit that we want. And here I have the four pieces that the laser has just cut. Now I am cutting some vertical pieces that serve to hide the corners between the glass panels. Thank you. 
And I am also going to use the laser to engrave the Vimo laser logo on one of the glass panels. Beam Studio, the laser software, has a function to engrave mirror images and mirror letters when necessary, for example in this case. I keep cutting the plywood pieces. These are to add some volume to the top of this lamp that looks like a garden lantern. And this is the base to put the lamp holder. And so, thanks to this laser machine, I have already cut and engraved all the pieces of the wooden lamp. You will notice that with the laser, I also cut some narrower slots. These are to accommodate the glass panels. I have to adjust them in the plans after some trial and error. I left them a little too narrow. But if I slide some paper inside the slots several times, it will be enough to fit the glass panels. Yes, I know. Be careful not to break the glass. And now it is perfect. Well, maybe it is a little tight, but I am going to leave them like that. So I sand all the slots. And now the glass panels fit. I hope it will be enough to be able to fit the glass panels without problems when I fit all the parts of this lamp. And because it will have a light bulb inside, I decided to darken the glass panels. I am sure this way the glass panels will look even more nice. And now I can assemble all the pieces of this wooden glass lamp. I love how well fit together these laser cut pieces of wood. This is the base of the lamp. And this is the base for the bulb holder. I drill some guide holes. And I insert some screws. Now we are going to pay attention to that with the laser I made some marks that meet here on the inside of these four corners. I am going to drill a pilot hole there on the inside of each of these corners. Now I assemble the pieces of the upper part of the lamp. Here I also have the marks on the inside of the corners, so I also drill pilot holes in the inside of these corners. And I put these pieces, which serve to give a little volume, to the upper part of this lamp.
So now this looks a lot better. I already mounted the lamp holder on its wooden base. I begin to put the glass panels in place. And I have to measure so that all the glass panels are centered. Well, being very careful not to force anything, I managed to get the glass panels in. And I admit that I was afraid to break some glass. I also fit the upper part. And now it is up to these vertical pieces in the inside of the corners. For this I have drilled the pilot holes on the inside of the corners in the base and in the top. This is the last piece of this wooden glass lamp that looks like a garden lantern. This beautiful LED bulb will be perfect inside this lantern. Well, I have put inside out the glass with the laser machine logo on it. So I have to disassemble the upper part and I already put this glass panel correctly. Well, what do you think? I am delighted with how beautiful this garden lantern looks. This was the first time that I work with a laser machine. And I find it very interesting to discover how to get the pieces to fit together, both during the design phase on the computer and when importing the plans so that the CO2 laser machine cuts the pieces. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about this CO2 laser machine, I leave you some links in the description of this video.